Who's got the power, the power to lead? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to lead? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure awaits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure awaits when you're with Super Y. Glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Hi, puppy. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. <gasps> Guess what? We're learning about outer space today at school. Let's go. <laughs> hi, everyone. Hi, oh, hi, Y. We are learning about planets and stars in outer space. <gasps> there are so many wonderful little surprises in space. Let's take a closer look. What do you see? Huh. <gasps> I see the moon. Good pig. The moon is made up of rocks and dust. I see a star. Good, Red. <gasps> I see a big bright light over there. What is it? That's called a comet. It's made of ice and rocks and has a long end that looks like a tail. Hey, the comet flew away. <gasps> where did it go? Class, see if you can figure out where the comet went. Do you know where the comet went? Me neither. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. Woof, woof. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great! We're all here! Together, we will solve our problem. Let's go! Okay, let's state our problem. At school, our teacher showed us a comet flying off into outer space. Yep. Yeah. But now we need to know, where did the comet go? Good question, Princess. When we have a question, we look... In, in a book. book! Which book shall we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Galileo's Space Adventure. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to our question. 
First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Hmm. In this story, we need five super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Come on, puppy. You're coming too. <laughs> Woof! Super duper. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to the rescue! Alphabet with alphabet power! Wonder Red with word power! Princess Presto with spelling power! Together we are... The Super Readers! Why flyers We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers, to the rescue! It's time to fly with the Super Readers Cause we've got a problem to solve Super Readers, to the rescue! Super readers working together with powers to read. In the books we fly to find the super story answer. It's super wide. Super readers to the rescue! Whoa! I'm floating. That's because. There's no gravity in outer space. And gravity is what helps us stick to the ground. Cool. Presto. <laughs> We're in the book Galileo Space Adventure. <laughs> Let's read. Why writer, highlight. Read with me. Galileo was an astronaut who lived in outer space. I'm Galileo, and this is my space kitty, Houston. One night, Houston jumped onto a speeding comet and whooshed away. Oh no! Houston, my little kittykins, come back! Galileo did not know where the comet was going. How can I rescue Houston if I don't know where the comet is going? And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. We all need to know where the comets are going. Let's float! Whoa. Whoa. Look at me! Whoa. Whoa. This must be Galileo's rocket ship! Hello, Super Reader Earthlings! Welcome to my home sweet rocket. Hi, Galileo. <laughs> We're here to help you find the comet and rescue Houston. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Super Readers. Climb aboard and we'll search for the comet and Houston together. Whoa, cool. Wow, a real live rocket ship. Whoa, look at all the buttons. Look at Houston go! Let's count backwards so we can blast off. Ooh, this is my favorite part. <clears throat> Ready? Five, Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! Oh! Look at us go! Oh! <laughs> Look, there's the comet! Wow, there it goes, there it goes! Oh no, the comet disappeared! How will I find it? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With 
with my space map, I can help find the comet. <gasps> the rocket computer tells me that the comet is headed for Mars. Got it, Galileo. We need to find Mars. Mars begins with an M. Where's the letter M? There! There's the M on the planet Mars. Ooh, it's that red one. Blast off for m -m -m mars <laughs> There's Mars. It's the dusty red one, just like on the map. The comet! There it is! And there it goes. <gasps> Super readers, the rocket computer says that the comet is headed for Jupiter. Okay, then. We've got to go to Jupiter, too. Jupiter begins with the letter J. Um, where's the J? There! There's the J on the huge planet Jupiter. Blast off for Jupiter! Jupiter is one big planet. It's the biggest planet of them all. <gasps> the comet! There it is! <sighs> and there it goes. Alert! The rocket computer says that the comet is headed for Neptune. Neptune begins with an N. Which word starts with the letter N? There! <laughs> There's the N on that windy-looking blue planet. Blast off for Neptune! <laughs> and look, there's the comet. And my little kitty kids. Houston! We found him. Okay, you crazy comet. Don't move. We're coming to get Houston. <laughs> Lickety letters! We followed the space map and found the comet. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Yay! Stellar job, Alpha Pig. You see super letters? Which ones? O! T! O? T. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Three more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. Okay, Houston. My little kittykins, we've got you now. Double drats. The comet flew away again. Uh-oh. That's not good. It's flying back towards Jupiter. <clears throat> Let's follow that comet. Uh-oh. We're slowing down. Oh, boy. This isn't good. We're stuck in a bunch of... asteroids. Um... What's an asteroid? Woofster, do the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Asteroid means a rock in outer space. Asteroid! Now we know what it means. Woofster! Give your tail a wag! Look how many asteroids there are! Oh, my chinny-chin-chin. Chin. We're stuck in these asteroids. We have to catch up to the comet and rescue my kitty Kim's Houston. <laughs> what? How? You the sparkle. You the music. Princess Presto to the rescue. With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word zigzag so we can zigzag around these asteroids and get out of here. Ready? Spell with me. What letter makes the sound 
Z. Z makes the Z sound. Wands up. Write a lowercase Z with me. Great Z. Now, what letter makes the I sound? I. I makes the I sound. Let's write a lowercase I. Woo! Dazzling eye! What letter makes the sound G? G! G, G makes the G sound. Write a lowercase g with me. Great G! Wow! We need another Z! Z? Write a lowercase z with me. Splendid! Now, what letter makes the ah sound? A! A! Let's write a lowercase a! Amazing A! Now we need another G! Write a lowercase g with me. Z, I, G, Z, A, G. Zigzag! Ooh, watch out for that asteroid! Zigzag! Ooh, we're almost out! Zigzag! <sighs> Spectacular spelling! We spelled the word zigzag and got around the asteroids. Let's take a bow. That was out of this world, princess. Now let's save my sweet cutie kittykins. You see super letters? Which letters did you find? R! I! R? I! Yeah! Let's put them in our super duper computer! One more super letter and then we'll get our super story answer! Awesome, super readers! <gasps> Follow that comment! It's headed for for Saturn! Blast off for Saturn! <laughs> Here we are at Saturn. Check out its rings. They're beautiful! Aha! There's the comet. There it is. And there it goes. Not again. Again. Oh, it's no use. I can't get to the comet. I can only chase it. Look at my story. Galileo chases the comet. See? I'll never get to the comet and rescue my precious kitty pie, Houston. What will I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save this day. Let's change the word chases in this sentence. Zap! Why writer, write. Okay, super readers, what word will help Galileo get to the comet so he can rescue Houston? Catches, hides, or eats? Hmm. Let's try catches. Which is the word catches? It starts with a C. There! There's the word catches. Zap! Zap! Let's read our new sentence. Galileo catches the comet. Did 
Did catching the comet help Galileo rescue Houston? Yes! Yes! Super job, super readers! We changed the story and saved the day! Oh, oh, my so kids, welcome Houston. home, Houston! I love you. Yes, I do. <clears throat> and thank you, Super Y. <coughs> What's that, Houston? <coughs> we should let the comet go <coughs> so we can keep going around the sun? Around the sun? Is that where the comet was going this whole time? <coughs> oh. <laughs> okay, then. And... Go! <coughs> Wow! Look at that comet go! It's making an orbit, a giant circle around the sun. And there it goes around in an orbit, again. Now we know why that comet kept on getting away from us. Oh, that comet is making me dizzy. Houston, I'm so glad you're home. Bye, Super Readers, and thanks for helping me rescue Houston. You're welcome, You're welcome Galileo. Galileo. Bye, Bye Galileo. Galileo. Bye, Houston. You see our last super letter? Which one? B. B. Let's put it in our super duper computer. Now we can get our super story answer. Why flyers? Back to the book club. Come on, Wooster. Woo! We found the super story answer with Super Y. Computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. O, R, B, I, T. Orbit. The super story answer is orbit. But why? Because Galileo learned that comets go in an orbit around the sun. And that's where the comet was going with Houston. Around the sun. So our question is, where did the comet go? And our answer is... Orbit! The comet is going in an orbit around... The sun! Let's get back to class. Okay, class, tell me what you know about outer space. We can show you. I'm the Earth. I am Dusty Red Mars. I'm the Sun. And I am a comet. I go in an orbit around the Sun. So that means I go around and around and around the Sun. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, class. You figured out that a comet orbits around the sun. Hip, hip, hooray! The super readers saved the day! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The super readers saved the day! We changed the story! We solved the problem! We worked together so hip, hip, hooray! Hip hooray. hooray! The super reader saved the day. Hip hip hooray!